The city of Jackson, Mississippi is facing a water shortage this week due to some flooding. Let's talk about it and how it could possibly affect Coach Prime and the Jackson State Tigers this week as they play in the Orange Blossom Classic after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victor Formation. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Like, 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 share, subscribe as you come on in. Come on in, subscribe, and share this broadcast. Share this broadcast, like the broadcast, because today we're talking about the water shortage that's taking place in Jackson, Mississippi, and that will last a couple of days and how it will affect and possibly could affect Coach Prime and the JSU Tigers as they play. <clears throat> In the Orange Blossom Classic this week. Let me go ahead and share this article to you from foxweather.com. It says Jackson, Mississippi, a failure of a main water treatment plant in the wake of a severe flooding last week has left much of the entire town of Jackson, Mississippi without reliable drinking water. Major flooding on the Pearl River from recent tor torrential rains severely damaged the town's main treatment plant, creating water pressure issues and leaving the plant unable to supply the city. Quote, it means the city cannot produce enough water to fight fires, to reliably flush toilets, and to meet other critical needs, said Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves. Both Jackson City Mayor uh, Mr. Lumba and Governor Reeves had declared a state of emergency in Jackson and mobilized local and state resources to meet the challenge of now providing water to the city's 180,000 residents. Jackson has been under a boil water notice for weeks. But the recent flooding and torrential rain made issues at the water treatment facility worse with low water pressure and inadequate treatment to clean the water. Quote, until it's fixed, it means we do not have reliable running water at scale, Reeves said. Uh, Governor Reeves went on to say, do not drink the water. Officials are scrambling to provide distribution stations where residents can uh, now get both drinking water and non-drinking water. Reeves said water is already being provided for firefighting emergencies in the meantime the treatment plant uh, with the treatment plant down officials are urging residents not to drink any water that comes from tap so you see jackson the city of jackson mississippi uh, jackson seems to have a lot of problems uh when it comes to water and i remember they had some issues with water uh we saw on the coach prime documentary and so of course if the city of jackson is facing an issue that means the jackson state football team coached by Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, is also having these same issues. And so this is what Coach Prime put on his Instagram today. Oh, we're going to look at a couple of different things that he posted <clears throat> online. Just talking about his team ahead of, you know, their first game of the season in the Orange Blossom Classic this weekend. Let me go ahead and share with you this post. Let's take a listen. A uh, little crisis, the city of Jackson, we don't have water. Water means uh, we don't have air conditioning can't use toilets, uh, we don't have water, uh, we don't, therefore we don't have ice, which pretty much places a burden on mm. the program. So right now, we're operating in crisis mode. I got to get these kids off campus, the ones that live on campus, the one that lives in the city of Jackson, into a hotel and accommodate them um, so that they can shower properly and, and take care of their just needs. Make sure all our kids are fed and all our kids have the necessities of life for the next several days uh, until this crisis resides. That's what we're operating in right now. So we're gonna find somewhere to practice, find somewhere that can accommodate every darn thing that we need and desire to be who we desire to be. And that's dominant. The devil is a lie. You ain't gonna get us today, baby. So that was Coach Prime's, <clears throat> excuse me, that was Coach Prime's message about the water uh, crisis that's taking place in Jackson. And uh, and this is what he also, this was also another post that he put on his story. Let me go ahead and share with you that. Uh, this is what Coach Prime had to say. Let me share. Hold on one second. Boom. Let's take a look. Listen right here. Oh, hotels. I'm on a hotel hunt right now. I got to find someone for my kids to stay. 
for all my kids. That means my team. I need to find some for my team to stay tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, we out of town on Thursday. So I need two nights. I'm not hard to find. Please get some get with somebody who knows me, who knows. I need hotels right now. I need rooms. And so, yeah, <clears throat> he's looking for rooms, looking for hotels for his kids to stay in. Uh, this is unfortunate for them, for the a team that's preparing to play a really good FAMU team, uh, a FAMU team who had a great showing in their game despite being down 20 players against North Carolina. Uh, this is <clears throat> this is going to be a game between two teams facing adversity. Uh, you know, FAMU, as they're dealing with their compliance issues, their football team and wrote a letter to the president, and now Jackson State with the water crisis that's taking place in Jackson. Now, luckily for the Tigers, for JSU, is that, like Coach Prime said, they'll be in Miami on Thursday. So from Thursday until Sunday, they'll be fine. They, as far as I know, there's no water crisis taking place in Miami. They'll be in a, a plush accommodations taking place, uh, all thanks to the Orange Blossom Classic Committee. Uh, they'll be able to have running water, showers, AC, all that good stuff down in hot Miami. So they'll be good. It's just unfortunate they have to deal with this leading into the game. Uh, it, it'll kind of probably take away some of their practice time and preparation the next two days just simply because it'll be hard, you know, moving kids in and out of hotels, move, getting kids where they need to be for practice and stuff. So it'll it'll hinder them a little bit as far as practice over the next two days. But I don't think it'll drastically affect the game simply because the game is played in Miami and they'll be in Miami from Thursday and the game isn't played until Sunday. So. But that is what's taking place with Coach Prime and the JSU program. They are having water issues. Yes, water issues, a water shortage in Jackson. And hopefully they get that get this resolved uh, this week because next week they won't be in Miami. Next week they'll, they will have to take, you know, have to be at home and, and play a game and practice and all those things and just live, not just practice, not just for football, but just for the residents in the city of Jackson. I, you know, I hope that this gets resolved. Fairly, fairly quickly. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think this will impact Coach Prime and the JSU Tigers on Sunday? I'm saying no. I'm saying this shouldn't this shouldn't be a big thing for them simply because they will be in Miami starting on Thursday through the game on Sunday. So I don't think this should have a drastic impact, but it will be interesting to watch and see how this plays out. Once again, my name is Jeff Lights Jr. with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Also, we're on the road to 4,000. 4,000 subscribers. We're over 3,000 now. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Peace.